Guys, you wouldn't believe this. The Chinese are discriminating against black people in Africa. Yes, in Africa, not China. We've all seen videos of discrimination and inhuman treatment of black people in China, where they are not allowed into supermarkets, they are not allowed into hospitals, and a lot of places. But they are taking it even further. Chinese restaurants in Africa are refusing to serve to black people. Just take a look at this. My friends and I have been asked to leave this Chinese establishment, a restaurant too, simply because we, we are black. <laughs> In Nigeria! <laughs> That's all I have to say. In this day and age, the idea of a restaurant or any public place in Nairobi for that matter that does not admit black Kenyans is absolutely shocking. It is for this reason that Kenyans are in an uproar over reports that this restaurant, simply referred to as the Chinese restaurant, is refusing to admit any black Kenyans after 5 p.m. Lack of creativity aside, the management has come out saying that they do not allow black Kenyans into the restaurant because their Chinese patrons feel safer and more comfortable if African patrons are locked out. Are you freaking kidding me? They'll feel safer when black people aren't allowed into the restaurant? Then what the heck are you doing in Africa? You gotta go back to China where you came from. These restaurants have been shut down by the government, but I believe these people need to be deported because time and time again they keep disrespecting us, they keep looking down on us, they keep comparing us to animals, and slowly these Chinese are gonna take over Africa if we are not careful. They're gonna put us into slavery. Again, I say I don't blame them. I blame ourselves. Why would we allow foreigners to come to our country to treat us like this? These people are looking down on us because we keep looking down on ourselves. These people are disrespecting us because we disrespect ourselves. These people are discriminating against us because we discriminate against ourselves as black people. It's about time we stop the tribalism. It's about time we stop the petty politics. It's about time we learn to put our religious differences aside and come together as one. Until Africans learn to love one another and come together as one, we will never succeed. And these people will keep looking down on us. We have everything we need to succeed. All it takes is unity. Let's come together as one. And